how would you describe the system of justice in America right now? Because it, it kind of feels like, depending on who you know, what political party you're in, who you've donated to, it kind of feels like there's justice and there's injustice and, and it doesn't, it, it really goes against certain lines. Like, how would you describe the current justice system in America? Yeah, well, unfortunately, justice has become a political term, right? And what mm -hmm. is justice is depending on your political or your social viewpoint. And that's why when the left uses this term social justice, we have to be very careful that they are trying and attempting to redefine justice, which should be an objective term. And if we look at virtue and values and truth, we have to go back to an objective measurement and an objective standard. And we know as Christians and as human beings that are uh, present in the world that truth is objective and ultimately that truth is the person of God himself and that truth can be known and that truth is something that is measurable. We have a truth and we have the opposite of truth, which is that which is false. Mm -hmm. And so justice, similarly, there is justice and there is injustice. But unless we have an objective moral standard to determine what justice is, then it becomes political and it becomes a derivative of whoever is empowered to mete out justice by their whim and their arbitrary force. And that's mm -hmm. what we've seen, as, as you know better than I, across world history, mm -hmm. justice simply meant whoever was the tyrant in power, they could say, well, this person is against me and against the crown or, you know, against uh, whatever political viewpoint they wanted to impose. And so therefore they are uh, traitors to the cause or they are wrong. And they use that language and those inherently moral terms to simply meet out their own political whim. Mm -hmm. That's what we're seeing today here in America. And it's frankly a devastating and it's, and it's shocking in the sense that we are so far beyond the pale of what our founders intended. And the reason that they separated powers and limited powers is because of what James Madison so brilliantly articulated in Federalist 41 and among others of the Federalist Papers that says, you know, if men were angels, meaning, you know, we were totally virtuous and morally correct at every single moment, then no government would even be necessary. Well, why mm -hmm. is that? Because it's not just a matter of viewpoint, like what the libertarians would say, we're arbitrating contract disputes. And it's my perspective versus your perspective. And what really is, quote unquote, harm? No, the founders understood that there is measurable harm in the sense of being morally incorrect. And government mm -hmm. has to do what Micah 6, 8 talks about, doing justice, loving mercy, walking humbly with our God. So doing justice is promoting good in society and restraining evil. And if our government loses sight of that, and we use and manipulate the limited powers of government that have been separated into the branches on the federal and state and local level, then we are manipulating that term justice. And that's what we're seeing right now, that it's not justice doesn't mean a difference between right and wrong. It means a difference between right and left.